Hi guys and welcome to our latest kitchen project. We are here in Hendon, London and I can't wait to get into this one. This kitchen is unbelievable. But before we do, as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments if there's anything specific you want to see in future. So ordinarily we tuck in straight with the island, but in this kitchen there are two islands. So this is this beautiful Taj Mahal quartzite worktop. We've got this lovely up and over waterfall edge and I'll show you the edge detail a bit later. It's absolutely stunning. But the first run of tall units here is this lovely chocolate brown oak frontage, slab door, and the clients opted for a buster and punch linear pull handle, which I think is stunning. It's very, very thin and minimal, but I think it does the job perfectly. Opening up this larder, usually we have a double door larder that's a pocket door. The client didn't want that, instead wanted maximum storage and it to be split up a bit. So we've got this middle end here, we've got 10 drawers here, two thin drawers at the top. Everything is labelled perfectly. We've got baking, we've got space for tins, for cooking, for sides, everything. It's absolutely unbelievable. So much storage space. And then as you can see above, we've just got fully shelved units. And the internal of this carcass here, this internal of the unit matches the frontage of the doors. So really nice and consistent. Coming around to the next tall unit, we have a fridge, which is just a normal 600 wide fridge by Liebherr, shelf above. And this is actually a dummy panel. This door doesn't open because there was a big beam that we had to contend with behind here, but we, did, we wanted to hide it, didn't want it to be unsightly. So we've tucked it in, in what looks like another tool unit. But back to the island, you can see here, this lovely edge detail. I think the stone guys have done a phenomenal job. It's 50 mil thick and it comes all the way down to the floor. There is actually space on the back side of the island for breakfast bar uh, stools, but the client hasn't got those yet. And this is actually another mm -hmm. dishwasher by Mila on the back side of the island. Coming round onto the milky side of the kitchen, which is the first run, wet run of kitchen, we've got lovely drawers here. This is our Marlebone door, so it's a thin frame shaker door. It's painted in this lovely stone grey colour with a matching finger pull trim running through. This is internally divided for cutlery. Then we've got a secondary drawer below, which is for plates, and then underneath for Tupperware the client is currently using it for. Loads of drawer storage in this kitchen. The worktop, as you'll see, it's 20 mil on this run, and then it comes all the way through to the underside of the wall unit, so it's full cladding, which really gives this lovely feature, especially when it's lit by the LED lighting that's running all the way under these wall units. First sink is a 600 wide sink by 1810 Company. We've got the KUKA Pro 3 Flex, so as always, instant water, instant boiling water, uh, and then you've got your pull-out spray feature as well, which is really handy to get into the corners. Above here, we've got loads of wall unit storage, super, super high proportion. You can see here, we've hidden the extractor within here um, with this little uh, panel that's on a magnet, so it's easy to service. But the proportion of these wall units are lovely, basically touching the ceiling and making the most of the ceiling height in this kitchen. Really, really nicely fully shelved units. The client is so organized, it just makes our job so much easier. And then we have a single induction hob, so it's a Turing induction hob by Mila on this run. More draw storage throughout. And there is some overflow tool storage in the back, but we won't get into that. But I mean, there's more storage in this kitchen than you know what to do with. Coming around to the cooking section, we have a grid of Gaganel 200 series appliances. These are in anthracite. So we've got two single ovens at low level and then two microwaves at high level. Above this, we've got some more storage, fully shelved units above. And then we've got actually drawer storage on push to open drawers below that. So really, really nice deep storage there. Coming around, great feature using the corner and maximizing this storage space is the Le Mans corner. It's a lovely wide 600 door anti-slip mats on the trays. You can see there's some heavy stuff on it. It's not even moving, which is great. And you're really maximizing the storage into that corner. Worktop comes around and there's, this is perfect for prep space. There's so much room here. And then into the biggest sink in the kitchen. This is a 700 wide 1810 company sink with a normal stainless steel mixer tap, but it does also have a spray feature, which is really handy when trying to get into the corners of a 700 wide sink. Loads more wall storage here, drawers throughout. This is internally divided again for cutlery. But then we get into this beautiful feature, which is the hob and the extractor. So this extractor is a Westin Cash Slim extractor that we've recessed into a boxing that we've made. And then that boxing has been clad in this Taj Mahal stone. It breaks up these wall units so, so nicely and also acts as a focal point, draws your eye in up at high level in the kitchen. Above the hob, we've got what's increasingly becoming a popular feature in kitchens is this pot filler tap. So again, in stainless steel. And what it does is it prevents you from moving big, big, heavy pots of water from the sink all the way to the hob. And instead you can fill up the water directly from here, which is perfect for pastas and soups and all that sort of stuff. The hob is a Miele gas hob, four rings, and then one big wok burner. So for really big, 
heavy duty cooking, which is great. And then underneath here, we've got a Miele 900 wide oven, which is essentially as big as you can get without breaching into commercial oven territory. Uh, and then above here, this is just an internal utensil drawer. More drawer storage, again, more cutlery. I mean, you're never gonna get bored of this. And then we've got some more wall storage, again, either side of the extractor. And then finally, the final few refrigeration appliances, we have another Liebherr 600 wide fridge, and we've got two side-by-side -side Liebherr 600 freezers, 12 drawers of freezer space. I mean, it's incredible here, and then some shelves above. That is it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and see you in the next one.